Thanks for watching Baika Giant installation guide video. So, three devices for testing uh, electronic scale, power consumption tester, and the noise tester. So, here's the pa box for packing Baika Giant. Inside of the box, you can see one branch cable, two dual row five pin cable, data cable, and one four pin USB cable. And giant that's protected by two EPE protectors. So, here's the total things that included in one box. Okay, first, take a look on Giant. On the top of the, of the machine, you can see two stops. Um, this is power module and our controller, Orange Pi. Orange Pi will get the power from machine directly through the power module. You just need to Plug this in here. On the front of machine, uh, giant are uh, consist of two hash board. Each hash board will have two four eight pin power jacks and two data jacks and one USB jack. Uh, this two data jack. The one that is closer to the uh, USB jack is output jack. The farther one is input jack. So, thing goes here. This is output jack and this is input jack. On the back of the machine, here's a big fan for help machine, machine to lose heat. Let's take a look on its weight. Mm, it's about three kilograms. Okay, the installation is very easy. First, plug the plug from power module into orange pipe, and use four pin USB cable to connect orange pipe to machine. Here's the USB port. And as I mentioned before, there are two hash board consists of one giant. So now you need to select one board as a master board. So the left one we call the slave board. On this video, we gonna use the right board as a master board. So. Plug it. And uh, we got uh, one second. These are two types of data cable. This cable is for giant, and this cable is for mini and quadruple. You can see this is giant cable. This to snack, snack, snap feet is one side toward, and this is for mini and quadruple. The two snap feet is two side side toward. So if you have both cable, uh, when you install the giant, don't mix that. The data cable will come from the output of master board, the one that is closer to the USB jack. So come from the output of master board to the input of slave board. Okay, done. Same goes if you choose the 
left bird as master bird, so the US, USB port will be plugged in here, and the date, port, date cable will be plugged the bottom to jacks. So, next, plug the network cable. Okay. Now the only thing left is power cable. We're gonna use ATX power. Plug in power consumption tester so we can see how many watt it cost later. And use this branch cable. You just need to plug one power jack of each bird. So now all is settled down. So let's power it. The lights are here. The blue and green keep flashing for sticky IP address. And usually one minute will be after one minute will be uh, keep on so. If it, if it keeps flashing, check you uh, check the installation way and uh, power power. Okay, it's done. The blue light is on so, not flashing. So take a look on its power consumption. It's around 216. And it's noise. Okay, thanks for watching.